How you doing? Todd Hodge here from Team Losi Racing and Horizon Hobby. Today I'm going to tell you about our new product release, the Team Losi Racing 8E 4.0. Um, there's been a little bit of uh, talk about it, uh, when are we coming out with it, uh, you know, the natural progression from the 8 4.0 to the 8 E 4.0, so here it is. So, I'll tell you about it. A lot of the features on the vehicle are, are similar, obviously, to the 8 4.0, and we'll go into those in a little bit more detail uh, here in a few minutes. Um, first off, I'd like to just start by talking about some of the major differences that, um, that are quite a bit different um, on the 8 E 4.0 than the 8 4.0. And as everybody knows, we have the, um, the drivetrain where we can rotate the, um, where we can rotate the diff on this car. Now the drivetrain on the eight, on the nitro car, it's in a fixed position. Well, what we did on this one is we actually made the drivetrain adjustable on this to reduce the dog bone angle and then to also put the dog bone angle back in. So right here, you'll see that the motor is kind of at an angle here and the diff is shifted over. So basically it's at four and a half degrees shift over and you'll see that the dog bones are relatively equal angle. So what that allows it to do, like on the nitro car, creates a better uh, power, power uh, bias bleed when you get on the power. Um, now with this car, so if <clears throat> you're actually able to put the diff back into the zero location. So this whole assembly will rotate back into the zero degree position and you'll see a plate here on the bottom of the car and that plate gets changed from the four and a half to the zero degree. Now when you build the kit it's going to be at the at the four and a half degree and then the optional plate for zero degree will be um, in the spare parts bag. Now why, why would you want to run the different um, variations? I'll get into that. So essentially what it does, like I said earlier, the power bias is much more balanced from front to rear when you're running at that four and a half degree diff angle. When you run the zero degree plate on the bottom of the chassis and you have the rear dog wound going straight and more angle on the front, it um, basically puts more power to the rear end and a little less, not as much power to the front end. And what that does, it almost acts somewhat kind of similar to a one-way system and the vehicle actually will steer in a little bit more. So maybe on a tight twisty track, you'll run the zero degree where you want that turn in, but then on a big larger outdoor track, you'll probably want the four and a half degree. And then it kind of goes back to, you know, what type of driver are you and what, you know, what do you like out of a car? So that pretty much sums up the drivetrain and the changes we made there. Um, we're pretty excited about that and what that does and the, the tuning option it gives to, to all the racers out there. Um, another tuning option that we're, we, um, gave on this car is the multiple or the two different battery and speed control locations. So now you can run the battery forward with the speed control in the back or you can move the battery tray to the back of the car and the speed control in the front. It all just depends where you want your weight bias. So <clears throat> now that we have the chassis done we obviously had to with moving all this stuff around, we had to actually get a little bit more real estate in the chassis. So this car is a touch wider than the 8E 3.0. Um, and that's fine. During testing, we found that the, the wider weight bias actually made the car a little bit more consistent, um, a little bit more easier to drive. So those are the big changes to the 8E 4.0. Um, I'll talk a little bit here now about some of the changes um, that are basically called 4.0-ish. Um, that includes all the drive boots on the, on the CVAs, on the front and the rear. Um, one thing we did not include, we did not include the CV boots for the dog bones for the front or rear. Um, so just know that on the nitro car, we have the boots in there, but on the 8E 4.0, those boots are not on this car. Uh, we also have the 8 4.0 spindle and uh, spindle carrier. We also have the 8.4.0 hubs, so as, as you know, the hubs and the spindles also have the bigger, larger outer bearing, the 8x16. Now we're going to talk about the shocks. On the 8E 4.0, much like the 8.4.0, it has basically the same shock system. So what we've changed there is we added the new bushings into the shock caps, so you don't have to worry about wearing out your shock caps, and you can easily replace the bushing. Um, it also comes with the um, machined pistons, front and rear, 
and also the machine bushing with the XO rings. Uh, another change we made, obviously, is the bleeder shock cap. Uh, so when you run emulsion shocks, it allows you to pop out that screw, easily bleed the shock. Um, the vehicle comes built with the bladders inside, and then the uh, O-rings are available separately, which are included in the vehicle um, for the emulsion shocks. Now we're going to talk about the drivetrain. Uh, we talked a little bit earlier about the, the CVAs um, having the boots. On this vehicle, we do not put the boots on the um, drive shafts. Um, you could probably fit them on as an option part. Um, they will interfere a little bit with the, with the chassis braces, so we'll leave that up to you on what you want to do. This vehicle also comes with the little bearing spacers in between the, the uh, pinion gear bearings, so no more worrying about your mesh and setting your backlash. Just pop those in, put the bearings on, put your coupler on, tighten it down, everything's set automatically for you. So nice little, uh, makes it a little easier to build your vehicle. Um, just like the AD 4.0, this instead of the CVAs for the center drive line, we have dog bones. Uh, those dog bones basically reduce uh, friction, so it basically more power to the ground, which is a huge benefit. Um, the vehicle will come with a 45 tooth plastic spur gear. Um, the past car came with a 43 tooth. We noticed a lot of people running 45, so we made a change to that. Um, the test vehicle here I actually have is the, it actually has the, um, our electric clutch system. Now the kit doesn't come with the electric clutch system. This is an option part, um, but if you run outdoors, it might be something you want to consider. So it's almost essentially like having a nitro clutch on your electric motor where the shoes are preloaded up against the clutch bell. Um, and it just gives you a much smoother uh, power, power bias or power feel. And then it also accelerates through the bumps quite a bit better because it actually, there's somewhere for the power to go and bleed out of the clutch. So like with all of our TLR eight scale kits, nowadays it comes with all the option parts you need so it's a one box purchase you really don't have to go out and buy anything additional everything that comes in the box is what you need to go hit the track with so that includes your tight carbon uh, shock shafts hinge pins um, it also includes lightweight out drives through the front rear and center it also has the aluminum bearing um, inserts for the rear gearbox which just add a bunch of durability um, comes with the obviously sway bars, um, a few additional ones to um, in the spare parts bag, and then it also comes with the covered wheel nuts. And then in the back, one option part is the one plus one millimeter wide hex. So again, the vehicle comes with everything you need to hit the track running in one purchase, makes it really easy. Now with the chassis, when we, ma we made all the drivetrain changes, um, and moving the motor, kind of putting that angle at that four and a half degrees, we obviously needed a little bit more space. So you'll see that the, the chassis is a, a touch wider on the vehicle. We actually thought that during testing, the wider weight actually balanced out the car and made it a little bit easier to drive. And so here I actually have the eight 4.0 body with one of our team driver's trim schemes on it, Philip Atondo. You got the pleasure of getting that for this release. And then we have the eight 3.0 and you can kind of see here in the picture the, the difference in the width of the body so definitely a little bit bigger still cab forward as our option 80 3.0 body um, so it is a little wider unfortunately um, unlike the eight 4.0 where your body can fit from your 3.0 to your 4.0 that's not going to happen on this car you're going to need the the new body for this one and also got, kind of going back to the chassis focus a little bit um, well, just like the 8E 3.0, we have the optional, what we call the outdoor receiver box. So it puts all your electronics, your personal transponder, your receiver inside the box. Um, and then we have the open one to where you can basically run a little bit lighter setup, servo tape your receiver to the outside, and put your PT on the outside. So where, depending on where you're running, I know the indoor guys like to run the open um, servo tray setup, um, and then the outdoor guys like to run the closed one like what we have on the car here. All right, so that sums up the 8E 4.0. Uh, can't wait to see these uh, out at the tracks across the country, across the world. And thank you for watching. And until next time, until one of our new releases, whether it's nitro or electric, who knows what it's going to be. But we definitely have more stuff coming down the pipeline, uh, some new exciting stuff. So thanks for watching.